Connectivity now is a necessity and not a luxury, and it includes all kinds of connections connecting people, things, industry, and even pets. This is actually creating lots of opportunities for telcos and also for countries growing digital economy. Internet of Things is at the heart of this. At Huawei, we have a clear IoT strategy. We call it one plus two plus one strategy. One horizontal management platform across all of vertical applications and industries, and the two access methods, one of them through cellular network and the other one through Agile router. The last one is one light operating system, light in terms of response time, light in terms of power consumption. Cellular IoT is a trusted IoT. It combines the strength of operator represented in global standard coverage, roaming, and also other telco pipe capability with the IoT fantastic diversity and applications and also opening up to developing communities. Cellular IoT also uses the same infrastructure as consumer business. GSMA is expecting the current half a billion cellular IoT connections to grow massively to 3 billion cellular IoT connections by year 2020. The majority of those connections actually are coming from low power wide area connectivity. Low power wide area connectivity has four requirements. It needs deeper coverage, it needs short packets, and it needs larger battery life, and at the same time, it needs affordable module. Current cellular technology cannot support low power wide area connectivity, and also the existing unlicensed IoT technology also are not suitable for this. Narrowband IoT is an attractive solution for low power wide area requirements. Huawei has been working extensively in narrowband IoT through supporting industry organization and standard infrastructure chipsets and the ecosystem. Narrowband IoT is the most attractive and suitable solution for the low power wide area connectivity. It is actually a now reality and it is not a hype and it really represents the current and the future applications for low power wide area.